Hello everyone, welcome back to India's DNP ICU Hub YouTube channel. Today I am going to teach you how to interpret the CBC within 30 seconds. Okay, with the help of six steps. Okay, in the please follow the, before entering to the topic. I will give the brief introduction to the CBC. In the CBC, there are consisting of three parameters is present. Okay, first one RBC parameter, next one TLC parameter, third one platelet. Okay, this uh, one RBC red blood cells, which will be very helpful to bring that uh, oxygenation to to the throughout the all over the body okay next one is wbc or tlc okay which is infection fighting to the infection next one the platelet which is which will very helpful to the uh, bleeding controlling the bleeding and help to the blood clotting okay now i am sharing my screen just follow the six steps you will be very easily interpret the cbc with yeah. complete blood count differential white pressure count then platelet there are three types here there are three main consistent of three types of parameters in the CBC report. First one is RBC parameter. This is a RBC parameters. This is RBC parameters. This is WBC. This is WBC parameters. This is platelet. There are same blood cell types, blood cell types, total three, okay, one is RBC, red blood cell, another name, erythrocytes, okay, this is function RBC function what carrying the oxygen throughout the body, carrying the oxygen throughout the body. This is first one. Second one, white blood cell. This function what? Fighting with the infection. Next one, platelet. This help with the blood clotting. Okay, now. How to interpret? I will teach you. Very within 30 seconds, you can easily will interpret the CBC complete blood count. Okay. There are six steps. Now let's see the actual steps. Step one and steps two. They are related to the red blood cell corpuscle. Step one and steps two. Both are RBC parameter. Okay. Now you see. This is a hemoglobin. First, you need to check the hemoglobin. First step. Step number one. Check the HP. Hemoglobin. Normal value how much for male? 13 to 70. For female? 12 to 15. Okay. This is a normal value. If in case less than normal value. Okay, which means less than 13, less than 12 means we can call it as a less than. We can call it as anemia. Okay, if more means if HV was more than 17, more than 15 means we can call it as a polycythemia. Okay, this is if less than means anemia, if more than going with polycythemia. You see, this is a this patient value this normal this male report 13 to 17 if female means 12 to 15 okay if less than 13 means we can we are diagnosing as anemia if more than means we can call it as a polycythemia okay or dehydration the patient having dehydration also hemoglobin will be high okay if there is a anemic next step if the patient having the anemic okay the next step you need to check the mcv mcv that MCV is normal value how much? MCV normal value you see 83 to 101 FL FL means femdoliters okay 83 to 101 femdoliter okay now if the patient having less than 80 why we are to why we are looking the MCV we need to 
check the type of what type of anemia okay if the patient is having anemia next step we need to check the mcv okay if the why we are checking mcv what type of anemia mcv it's indicating what kind of the anemia patient having okay what type this is a if less than 83 that is micro cytic anemia okay if more than 101 that is macrocytic anemia okay if 83 to 101 if normal means you can say normocytic anemia normocytic anemia If you are saying that 83, if less than 83, what are the conditions means you can diagnose, you can suspect iron deficiency anemia, okay, iron deficiency anemia, thalassemia, okay, if macrocytic anemia means, what are the, if more than 101 means, you can suspect as a B12 deficiency, next, Folate deficiency. Next, patient if had been alcohol means that also it's indicating the macrocytic anemia, chronic alcoholic means. Okay. Now coming to the point, if the patient is anemic but normal M uh, MCV means it's indicating some patient having it indicates CKD, acute blood loss, or patient having patient with chronic disease patient with chronic disease these are all the reasons so this were our the first and this is the second step first step is completed this one once hb is less next step is we need to check the mcv this is the second step okay if less than 83 microcytic anemia more than means macrocytic anemia normal mcv means normocytic anemia i hope clear next step next number we go to step number three next to in cbc we need to check the tc the, that means step number three w p c white white blood cell this another name leukocyte count okay look at total leukocyte count we can tell normal total leukocyte count is four thousand to eleven thousand okay if the patient having more than eleven thousand that mean leukocy leukocytosis patient having leukocytosis but we are if the patient having leukocytosis which will indicating some patient having infection infection means bacterial infection still indicating bacterial infection if tc was tlc was high more than 11000 which indicating bacterial infection or uh, patient having that inflammation inflammation this and and leukemias leukemias then certain drugs like a steroid these are the reason to increasing the leukocytes because of increasing the if you give the steroid and tc will go into high some patient having allergic reaction also chances to increasing the tlc count okay now tlc if less than 4000 Now, TLC is less than 4000 means we are calling as a leukopenia. If TLC high means leukocytosis, TLC was less leukopenia. Remember, okay? Don't confuse about that. Okay. Next, what are the condition why it's going down means viral infection? That is bacterial infection. If the TLC was going climbing means that is bacterial infection. If coming down means that is viral infection. Viral infection time, any bone marrow suppression uh, certain drugs uh, called uh, methotrexate these are all the reason to reduce the TLC count okay this was our third step where we assessed to the total leukocyte count number next we need to move to step number four step number four this is same only TLC differential leukocyte count differential 
okay differential leukocyte count okay what we are doing that for the step we look at this something called the differential leukocyte count that means wbc in the blood are mainly the five types is there okay in our blood the wbc is a five types is there we need to look at the five types okay i will teach you n l e m b this is neutrophils okay this is lymphocytes this is eosinophil eosinophils this is monocytes this is basophils okay if patient having neutrophils 42 normal value 70 percentage in the value okay 21 to 40 percentage for lymphocyte normal value is not feel normal value 0 to 6 percentage monocyte 2 to 10 percentage okay now base level 0 to 1 percentage for normal value now in this five step if the patient having tlc was high or low next step we need to check the tlc differential leukocyte count neutrophil or lymph lymphocyte is not feel mono monocytes or basophil if neutrophil we see it is increasing if 740 to 70 percent normal range okay this is a normal range if going up more than 70 percentage that is called neutrophilia it is called neutrophilia <laughs> neutrophilia when it will it's it is indicating for the bacterial infection bacterial infection or trauma or any drugs like steroids these are all the causes to increasing this one Neutrophil if increasing, you can suspect this is a bacterial infection. Okay, next one. Lymphocytes. If the lymphocytes was lymphocytes is increasing, that name was you can call it as a lymphocytosis. Lymphocytosis. You can call it as a lymphocytosis. In the, if the lymphocytosis means you can suspect it will in, uh, indicate for that viral infection. This bacterial infection. This bacterial infection this is for viral infection. Viral infection or TB, CLL, this malignancy. Okay, these are all the same. Next is eosinophil. If the eosinophil is increasing more, more than normal range, we can eosinophilia. Eosinophilia. Okay, when it will increasing allergic, maintain allergic conditions or parasitic infection, the time it will increasing. Okay, next monocyte. This under chronic condition. Chronic condition. Next, basophils. It's very rare. If very rare. Okay. Next, the same neutrophils. If less, if less than normal value, we can call it as a neutropenia. Neutropenia. Then, what are the kinds of sepsis? Uh, certain drugs are aplastic anemia. Aplastic anemia. Next, lymphocytes. If lymphocyte or less, then you can call it as a lymphopenia or lymphocytopenia. Lymphopenia or lymphocytopenia, both are same. It mostly for HIV, bone marrow problem, bone marrow problem or autoimmune disorder. That time it should be coming down. Lymphocytopenia or lymphopenia. Okay, we are completed the fourth step. Next, we are going to the, see the step number five. This is plated. Okay, normal plated value 1.5 lakh to 4.5 lakh. Okay, if less than 1.5 lakh, which means thrombocytopenia. Thrombocytopenia. Okay, which are the condition you have? You know everyone. Dengue first. Always dengue fever means the plated converse. Next, ITP. ITP means idiopathic thrombocytopenic. Next, aplastic anemia. Next, if in case plated was more than normal value, that means 4.5 lakh above means you can call it thrombocytosis. Thrombocytosis, which means malignancy or certain malignancy or infection. Sometimes it's climbing the platelet count. Okay, so these are all the five steps of we are looking at the different type of cells that in the RBC, WPC and platelet. Okay, next we are going to see the step number six.
step number six which means red flag values okay about the uh, flag sign of the value that are the very important where you should not it's if you are looking any values in this you need to act very fast very important you need to go need to the pay medical attention okay? this is the four step okay first you see hb if that hb was less than six gram per tl urgent the transfusion you need okay so very important this one okay next one the plate the, the tc white blood count tlc okay if more than one lakh suspected leukemia okay the normal range how much 4000 to 11000 okay this is one lakh if more than you can suspect in the leukemia medical attention unit next platelet if less than 20000 there are more chances to patient get the bleeding okay pancytopenia pancytopenia means what all three less what are all that uh, hb tlc platelet all three is coming down with that is a pancytopenia suspect for bone marrow failure okay is it clear act fast if you see this very fastly you need to go the medical attention unit okay summary what we are looking first we are looking hemoglobin okay first we are looking the hemoglobin if the hemoglobin what we are looking anemia or polycythemia if anemia is present we need to check the next day, mcv okay if mcv is what we are looking in the type of macrocytic or uh, microcytic or normocytic anemia we are looking in the types of anemia we are looking next day, in the tlc normal value 4 to 11000 4000 to 11000 if why we are looking any infection bacteria or viral infection okay which where will come which type of infection bacteria or viral went through the tlc we are checking next platelet in the platelet okay, any bleeding risk is there or not we are checking the platelet okay so next what we are looking to look for the red flag if anything any signs are there in the fourth thing hp was very less w the pc was very high plate it was less than twenty thousand. or all the four three values are parameters are less so these are the med need emergency medical attention okay so if how you can interpret the cbg report in the you can just see the 30 seconds and you can very easily interpret the cbc okay the practice these steps daily on your actual report so that it can get lot of easier for you